The Emetica Javelin MIS Locking Facet System offers secure facet fixation through a minimally invasive surgical approach. With the patient in a lordotic prone position, identify the L5-S1 level using biplanar fluoroscopy. Begin the approach by inserting a jam sheety needle until the distal tip contacts the inferior facet of L5. Advance the jam sheety needle through the inferior facet of L5. Remove the inner stylet from the jam sheety needle and replace it with a K wire. Advance the K wire to the proper depth in the pedicle, using fluoroscopy as an aid. Once proper depth is attained, remove the jam sheety needle, leaving the K wire in place. Introduce the smallest of the three dilators over the K wire. Insert the second and then third dilator to create a working channel for the procedure. Remove the two smaller inner dilators, leaving only the K wire and the largest of the dilators. When loading the washer onto the drill guide, ensure that the laser etched line on the tip of the drill guide is aligned with the slot on the washer. Introduce the drill guide and washer over the K wire and through the dilator tube. Advance the drill guide until the fangs of the washer come in contact with and attain maximum purchase on the bone surface. Proper screw length can be determined by inserting the depth gauge into the back of the drill guide. The arrows will point to the laser marks on the K-wire, indicating the appropriate screw length. Pass the cannulated drill with power adapter over the K-wire and through the drill guide. Drill a preparation hole until the hard stop is reached. Remove the cannulated drill and replace it with the cannulated tap. Tap the prepared hole to the required depth using the laser mark depth indicator lines as a guide. Remove the cannulated tap, leaving the K-wire and drill guide in place. Load the selected screw onto the screw holder by inserting the open fork ends of the screw holder over the notched head of the screw. Once loaded, pass the screw and screw holder over the K-wire and through the drill guide until bone contact is made. Initiate bone engagement with two to four turns of the screw. Remove the K-wire and insert the screwdriver into the head of the screw, advancing the screw to its proper depth. Proper depth is indicated in two ways, via a tactile clicking of the locking interface and by the laser mark on the screwdriver contacting the top of the screw holder. Remove the drill guide and screwdriver and confirm the positioning via fluoroscopy. Repeat the procedure on the contralateral side.